wondered your first your thoughts on your players' performance uh, tonight, given the lack of preparation time. There seemed to be a lot of intensity uh, in the play. Was that the most pleasing aspect of the win tonight? What did you make of it? Yeah, you're right. So very pleased for the performance and the way we played in one of the most difficult stadiums in the Premier League. It's the first time that we've seen the central defensive partnership, obviously, with Nathan Ake new, John Stones back in the team to start the season. What did you make of their performance as a partnership tonight? All the team was was uh, really good, especially in the first half. And John and Ake, they were, they were so good too. Simon, Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Um, could you just talk about Phil Foden's performance, getting a goal, and what he's been like since he's come back from from what happened with England? He played really well. Uh, part of the score goal, the uh, first half was not more involved, but the second half, uh, he played incredible, well. incredible. Do you you came under a lot of pressure eighteen months ago for maybe not? playing him a lot, but clearly he played 90 minutes today. Do you feel as though you've got it right in terms of his development? Since day one, he he turned really well in all the time he played with us. We decided to play 90 minutes or five minutes. It doesn't matter always. His uh, big impact and his uh, great contributions to the team today was not an exception. Thank you, Simon. Mike McMath. Hi, Pep. Um, with the amount of time you've had to prepare for this season, how long do you feel it will be before your players are all fully in the rhythm of this season? Will this take time? I don't know. I never... Uh, only we want is the seven players, they are out, important players come back. Uh, the problem now we're having a competition that we cannot spend the energy that we spent today but before the Leicester game against Bournemouth. So we're going to play most of the players at the academy and uh, and try to keep the energy for the Premier League. Because with this lack of preparation and uh, and seven players out uh, and not coming back soon, so we have to keep the players that today as much safe as possible. Will we play any first team players on Thursday? Any senior players, or will they all be from the academy? Well, we will see how many players are available, how we recover, how just three days. So, but uh, so we won three times in a row the Carabao Cup, and we would like to continue. But uh, we don't have players to continue in this period after this preparation to play every three or four days. In general, do you feel that this? Uh, fixture these fixtures and this week for yourselves and and Tottenham if they if they play is um Mike is what it is so we have to adapt so I just explain you the idea that I have today so uh, winning in this stadium and uh, away is so difficult we have our own experience for the opens where they come here and uh that was a, a good victory for us but uh we cannot pretend to uh, be recovered in three days and after in three days in the situation that we have right now. Thank you. I will go to Neil Custis. Hi. Hi, Pep. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. You don't seem very happy about tonight's win. Is, it, is, is, there, a, is there a problem? No, I'm delighted. I'm happy. I will have but, a nice smile. So just that's all. It's just, it's just the, the team performed really well, and um, but just, it just seems your reaction suggests that there's something wrong. No, no, I'm incredibly happy, but at the same time, so I know the reality right now, and I have to be, be, be calm. Uh, 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 Pep, can I just ask you about um, Kevin De Bruyne? Um, you know, he picked up again from from where he left last left off last season, didn't he? His level today, you, you, you know, the fitness level, his his ability to get around the pitch was just just remarkable. 
yeah, this is true. And just today, the part we were since we came back after national teams, the games, uh, every training session is, I feel, is incredible commit. And uh, right now is an incredible important player for us. Always was an important player, but uh, in the period, the situation that we are right now, it's it's so important. He played really well. Uh, he he shoot an incredible penalty with the quality today. The penalties must be shooting that way strong. And uh, and he did it perfect. And a part of this, the amount of assists, how he ran. So uh, it's uh, uh, he played really well, like all the team. What what, what drives Kevin? Is it just a natural desire? Is just a, is, is his ability just glided across the pitch tonight? Well, it's a question for him, but uh, I think he likes to play football. He doesn't feel the pressure. He likes to compete in high standards. So, and always is an important player for us. Thank you. Thank you, John. Mike Manay. Hi, Pat. Um, the club gave a brief update. Ahead of kickoff on Bernardo Silva, Zinchenko, Garcia, Cancelo. How serious are they? Are any of them likely to come back within the next week or are they longer term injuries? Most of them, as international, after Leeds game, when you go international break, and after I think after that, they will be ready. Uh, maybe Laporte uh, is not injured, but there was just one training session after two months. Eric Garcia have 16 stitches, so that's why he could not be here. But I think maybe for the next game or the other ones will be fit. Uh, the rest, I think, after international break, Joao and Bernardo and Alex and Sergio will be longer. So uh, I think this is the situation today, but maybe next day change a little bit. Simon Pascal. Hi, Pat. Um, just wanted your thoughts on Fernandinho. He was great tonight. How important do you see him being this season? Yeah, really important. Three, six, three, seven years old. I think he cannot play every three days. So last year I struggled a lot to be fit. Uh, you know, most of the time of the season, but uh, yeah, he played really well with. Uh, with uh with Rodri they both uh, incredible well with without the ball. This team is so difficult to play against them. They are so good. You know, had created an incredible team through the years. His impact in the Premier League is amazing. And uh we suffered two defeats against them last season. Uh, incredible tough one here last season when we play eighty minutes with ten men and we lost at the end. And uh, that's why it's an incredible victory for us in the situation that we have in this stadium. It's good, but uh, 111 points left still, you know, in the Premier League. So, but it's good to start to 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 good victory. Thank you, Simon. James Robson. Hi, Pep. Um, uh, Ilkay Gundogan was uh, has tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, is there any particular concern at City, given the number of players who have, who have tested positive now? Is there anything that you can do to try to prevent that, or is this just to be expected? Well, I'm concerned for the society, not for Manchester City. So the cases are increasing, so the virus is still there. Uh, and all around the world, the people are suffering a lot. Uh, I think maybe it's less aggressive what the doctor says, but uh, still is there. Um, uh, and Riyadh are already, you know, they pass it, and now we have uh, we have Ilkay. Uh, hopefully, it's asymptomatic right now. I think he feels quite well, but uh, we have to stay 10, 15 days isolated at home, and uh, and after, uh, hopefully, yeah. We, we we try to to be prudent. We have to try to be alert in our private lives when we are in the training session to have a lot of controls. But it's there, so we are not different than any human being in the society that can take this virus. 
And do you think it's right the way we're going about it, where if a player tests positive, he's just not available to you? Obviously, he can't be. But of course, you lose serious play, really important players. Do is that fair that you have to play on when you have players coming down with it? That's what it is. So I say with the injuries, we don't want it, but they come back from the international games uh, with three injuries, important ones. And now, unfortunately, Ilkay took the, the, the COVID. So, uh, yeah, important now is, uh, you know, control the situation, stay at home, not getting worse, to avoid to go to the hospital. This is the most important thing. And, and we will wait him like the rest in the next 10 days, 15 days. Thank you. Thank you.